Today we're going to be discussing the mean, median, and mode, and this usually comes from the section of integrating essential skills. We're going to start off talking about the mean, and by definition the mean is just the sum of your data items. You're going to take your data items, add them up, get the sum, and then divide that number by the number of data items that you have. Now the word average indicates arithmetic mean. This comes from the directions on the ACT math section. So I'm giving this to you here so you don't have to take the time to read that on your math section directions. So basically in word problems, you may see the word mean or you may see the word average and that means the same thing. When you're thinking about average, this is a concept that you use usually more likely when you think about your grades, when you have grades in a particular class. And usually we have more automated systems now that are doing our grades and stuff, but it's not a bad idea for you to keep up with your grades, make sure that, you know, there hasn't been a mistake in entering them in the system. And then you can keep a running tab of your average. And the last question we're going to get to in this section is another thing that's useful that is for you to know how to calculate average yourself. But here's an example. So this may be something just like you see on the ACT. You're given us a data set. You're asked to find the mean. So take a few moments and find the mean of this data set. Okay, so if we go by definition where we said take the sum of the data items, we're going to take each of our five data points, we're going to add them up, and you should have gotten 46.4. Take that 46.4 and divide by 5, that's the number of data items, and that equals 9.28. This is something you could do by hand, adding up, or quickly do on your calculator. And this is the basic setup of how you find the mean or average of data items. So the next area we're going to look at is median. And when we're talking about median, that is just the middle value in the data set. So there's a process that you can follow to find the median and basically what I normally do is I take the values in the data set and I'm going to order them. You can order from least to greatest or greatest to least. Just be consistent in what you're doing. Then we have two different cases. In the data set you could have an odd number of values or you could have an even number of values. Let's start off with the odd number of values. This is say, take your hand and you've got five fingers and if you look at your fingers, you have a middle finger, right? That's the, the finger in the third position, okay? So that's the median. If we think about odd, you've got a clear, distinct middle, middle value. Let's take our fingers. If we have four fingers, there's not a distinct middle finger. But to find the median of an even number of data items, we're going to take the mean, let's go back to the definition of our previous value, mean or average, of the two middle numbers. With your four fingers, you've got the second and third finger. Those are the two middle values. We would take those and find the average or the mean, and that gives you your median. So here's an example. We're going to use the same data set from the mean example. Find the median of these five numbers. So I usually order from least to greatest. That's what I did with these values. And we have a clear middle number, that 9.4 that's in the third position because we have an odd number in our data set. Let's look at another example where we have an even number of values in our data set. Find the median of this data set. So when we order from least to greatest, we have our two values, 3.6 and 4.4, which are in the two middle positions. We have to find the average of those two values, and that gives us an average of 4. So in this case, our median is 4. And if you'll notice from example 1 and, and example 2, in example 1, when you have an odd number of values, your median is always going to be a value in your data set. When you have an even number of values in your data set, it may or may not turn out to be that the median is the same as a value in your data set. It depends on that average of the middle two numbers in the position. That's something to consider when we begin to look at some of the maybe logic-based questions that were presented. Just having a general knowledge of not only how to calculate the median, but make inferences and draw conclusions from values of data sets. Now our third value that we're going to look at is the mode. So the mode is the data value or values that occur most often. You could have more than one mode in a data set. You may not have a mode at all in a data set, but it's based on this definition. So here's our example. Find the mode in the data set. 
when you look at your values here, we see that 12 occurs most often in this data set, three times. So 12 becomes our mode. Now I had mentioned you may not have a mode. If every value occurred only once, there's not a particular mode. What if nine had also occurred three times and 12 occurred three times? Then we would have a mode of nine and 12. So you could have more than one, you could have only one, or you could have none at all. Now let's take a look at an ACT type example. Work this problem and then we'll come back and work it together. Okay, Matt has the following grades in his science class. We're given four grades. If he has one more test to take in the class, what must he make to finish the grading period with an average of 90? So this is the problem that I referred to at the very beginning. This is something you might need to calculate on your own for a class. You have all your grades, you have one more test that comes in, and you want to make a 90, at least a 90, and you need to know what you need to shoot for uh, for that test, the minimum value that you need to make. So there's several different ways you can work this, but here's how I approached it at first. I took the four grades that we had already made, that Matt had already made, added those up, and he had 373 points from that first four tests. If you make perfect on five grades on an 100 point scale, you can make 500 points. Well, we wanna take 90% of that 500 and that's going to give us 450. From that we already have 373 points so we subtract the 373 from the 450 and we get 77. So Matt needs to make at least a 77 to get a 90 average.